We're learning to be tool safe. Watch this video to find out the safety guidelines for this machine. We're going to show you how to knurl a ring on a metal lathe. This operation illustrates many of the operations you can perform on this important tool. You can safely use the lathe for knurling operations when you wear proper personal protective equipment, or PPE, and by following the recommended safety procedures. You must tie any long hair or loose clothing back to prevent being pulled into the machine. Do not wear rings or jewelry as they can also get caught in the machine. You must always protect your eyes while in the shop. Wear safety glasses or face shields at all times. Finally, you should be wearing CSA approved non-slip shoes to prevent slipping while working on the machine. Cutting fluids and oils may be present that can cause you to slip. Know how to use the emergency stop. Test it out. You may need to shut the machine down instantly if a hazardous situation crops up. If you need to use cutting fluids to assist with surface finish and machinability, ensure the availability of proper ventilation and make sure you have read the associated material safety data sheet. Depending on the fluid used, you may need to wear a respirator or a mask. Ask your instructor. Lathe operators can avoid injury by ensuring that the work piece is securely fastened and the chuck key is removed from the chuck and stored properly before starting. Ask your instructor for the best body and cutting tool positioning for if you are right or left hand dominant. Think ergonomics too, and about establishing a safe space when working in a busy shop. It's important to set the cutting tool to center height, square to the workpiece, and then securely tighten the tool post and cutting tool. Improperly setting the workpiece and lathe can result in tool or workpiece breakage and injury. In the event that you are machining a longer workpiece, the workpiece needs to be supported using a revolving center in the tailstock. You should always support a workpiece that is longer than three times its diameter by holding it at both ends, as the knurling tool puts enormous pressure onto the workpiece. Knurling tools work best at slow speeds, so set the lathe to a quarter of the recommended speed for turning. Although you shouldn't have to disengage the auto feed, set the hard stop with extra space to allow the operator to manually stop the machine to reverse feed direction. If the carriage travels too close to the chuck, it is best to have the hard stop in place. Before starting, protect yourself against hot cuttings and revolving parts by using the guard. Keep hands away from the revolving chuck at all times. You will need to manually stop the machine with the feed engaged to change the feed direction to continue the neural pattern using the machine brake. During the operation, if you must remove cuttings, carefully use a brush when removing cuttings, never your hand. Pay attention to your work environment. Listen to your machine. Finishing, fully stop your machine and open the guard. Once the piece is knurled, using a file in the left hand will allow you to remove sharp edges on the workpiece caused by the knurling process. When you're finished your project on the lathe, be sure to clean up all cuttings from the lathe and floor. Wear gloves when cleaning. Wash your hands to avoid getting debris in your eyes or on your skin. Don't forget to store all tooling and equipment in their proper place. Tools and bits left around can cause hazards for others. Remember, don't take shortcuts. Let's review the recommended safety guidelines to ensure you have a safe experience. Double check. Securely fasten and align all work pieces, cutters, and hard stops. Guarding protects you against injury from flying cuttings, broken tool bits, or work pieces. Make sure chuck keys are removed from the machine before starting. Make sure you have set proper speeds according to recommendations. Listen to your machine. Clean up properly and safely. And if you're not sure about anything for safety, ask your teacher for more direction. And don't forget to be tool safe.